Hey guys, Dr. Ben Galliard here, author of the book, Rebuild Your Brain, Stop the Damage, Start the Repair. And I'm also the uh, clinical director at the Functional Medicine Center of Fort Collins. And today I wanna go over something that's been going through my head quite a bit lately. I just had a birthday a couple weeks ago, and the thought of uh, how long are we gonna live? And that, it's, it's kind of a, a deep thought and uh, maybe more than, than you're ready for on this, this morning. And yet what I'm looking at is how does this pertain to how we take care of our body, the thoughts that we have about being healthy, about what we're doing on a daily basis to maintain and to improve our health. So what guys average life expectancy 78, something like that, uh, women 81, something like that, that changes each year a little bit. Uh, so uh, a lot of people, they start thinking, well, maybe I'm gonna live to be 80, maybe 90 if I'm, if I'm lucky, any of those things. Uh, and so then you, you kind of take your life and you move through that process. But what about this thought? What if you think, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do everything I can and I'm probably gonna live to be 120 years old. So think about that concept for a second of living to 120. Does that change what you're thinking about in this present moment today, what you're doing for your health? Are you going to eat a little bit differently? Are you going to exercise a little bit differently? Are you going to do things different based on that thought of living to 120 or whatever you want that thought to be, 110, 150, different people have different different concepts on there. Um, are you going to change your concept of what retirement is gonna look like and that you just need to arrive at this place of, okay, well good, now I'm done working and I can just go sit on the beach somewhere. Uh, are we gonna uh, really focus on how we continu continue to get back all those things but as far as that health side goes how is living to 120 going to affect you today what's that going to do for what you're doing for your health today in this moment are you going to eat a little bit differently are you going to exercise differently is the exercise going to be more sustainable exercise so if you're doing something that's uh, really wearing down the body wearing down joints things like that are you going to think about differently okay well um, maybe I, I just need to survive until 75 and then my body oh whatever I'll probably wear out well if you're gonna be alive another 45 years after 75 well don't just wear your body out and and be be crushed in the knees and all these different things so what can we do can we stabilize our blood sugar can we do things to stimulate our brain you know by the time um, for me, by the time I'm 75, 80, 85, they're going to be having organ transplants, all types of different things, stem cells, stuff that we don't even know that's out there that's going to be able to increase organ life expectancy. But guess what? Guess what they probably won't have an ability to extend on is our brain. And we're not going to be able to do a brain transplant. I don't even know what that would look like or who would end up in, in our body. Um, but And even injecting stem cells or any of those things, we have no idea if we're going to be able to extend brain function that long. So you could have this 30 year old body all the way up till you're 120, but if your brain isn't there, doesn't matter. So what are you doing today? What are you doing today to get your body in that top shape, get your brain in that top shape, keep your joints, keep everything flowing as well as possible so that you can get to 120 happy, healthy, vibrant, still moving forward. So think about that over the, the next week here. Use that concept on that day-to-day -day basis of what you're doing about how you're changing your health status every single day. And as always, like and share this these posts. Uh, if you know anybody that, that needs a little boost in their, their health, health thought process, go ahead and send this over to them. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those. Have a great day.